Good morning, everybody. So, the plan. I'm staying in the Hyatt in Warwick, Rhode Island. Why? Because it allows pets, it's good, it's clean, and it's less than $200 a night. Also, it has a pool, where I unfortunately lost my contacts on the first night. Also, legend has it, if you wake up early enough in this hotel, you can get free breakfast. It's 5 a.m. right now, so the breakfast bar opens in one hour. Step one, gorge myself on free eggs. It didn't happen. We slept in. Change of plan. After deciding to close our eyes for another 30 minutes, we woke up four hours later and needed to start packing for checkout. We ate our leftovers from last night's dinner and headed out to Roger Williams Park, which looked promising from their website. They offer a pedal swan boats, Japanese garden, and even a small zoo if you're interested in that kind of stuff. After easily finding a parking spot, it didn't take much distance until arriving at the park's Japanese garden. Not the largest or most intricate recreation of the Japanese aesthetic, but at the price tag of free, it's almost mind-blowing it was available to the public. The park housed large open space, clean and maintained walkways, amazing scenic views, and the best part, no crowd. This park was giving Central Park in New York City a run for its money in terms of enjoyability for me. I even got to see a swan, just sitting in the grass. And that was enough to excitingly visit Swan Lake, which may or may not be what it's actually called, but we were ready to get on a swan boat. At $10 a person for about 30 minutes, we can continue our pedal powered theme adventure on this trip. <laughs> and yes, it's worth it. Once we were satisfied, we headed back to the docks to return the boat, and it was time to grab some grub. It was time for lobster rolls, so we headed to Dune Brothers Seafood in Providence, Rhode Island. This is situated right near Brown's University. This could be a touristy trap, but we were gonna put that to the test. As expected, the place was pretty packed, and the wait for our food was gonna take 40 minutes. So we had no choice. Explore the area. Fun fact, Providence has the most coffee and donut shops per capita in any city in the country. That's also because Rhode Island is the smallest state in the US. Me and Caramel, we think this place is pretty cool, but we got pretty tired from the heat and we just wanted our food. Our food has arrived. We've got some crab cakes, a lobster roll, a crab roll, and even a clam chowder. And let me tell you, it was delicious. The clam cakes were pretty bready, not that impressive, but the lobster roll was good. Does it live up to its hype? Maybe at the price point, not so much, but what can you expect when you're on vacation? And just like that, it is past five in the afternoon and it was time to wrap up this little adventure. After visiting Roger Williams Park, driving through the city and grabbing a coffee from one of the local shops, taking a breather at Providence Innovation District Park, it was sadly time to make the trek home. Rhode Island has been good. We plan to come back again and complete the entire stretch of the cliff walk. Until then, so long Rhode Island.